they are simply a menace. They tear up neighborhoods. What happened here was uh, some feral hogs came in and tore up a lot of the St. Augustine here. They destroy entire crops. I mean, that's your livelihood right there. Costing Texans millions of dollars, which all makes these ferals targets. <laughs> they just think I'm crazy. For a growing number of professional hunters. All little slogan, we've been making them squeal since 95. David Dale and Mike Van Zant of Sherman, Texas will try just about anything. You can snare them, shoot them. To catch a hog. Stab them with a knife. This night, they've called in the dogs. You want to make sure you protect the neck because they can really damage the dog in a matter of no time. Strapped with protective gear and GPS devices. It's got a map to tell you where you're at and everything. Four bay dogs are sent out, and no matter where they went, we followed. The way this all works is two pit bulls are kept on leashes until a bay dog finds a hog and then the pits make the catch. That's a pretty good pig, probably oh, 130 pounds. It wasn't long before tracks were spotted, and the chase began. This one, a false alarm. The more dangerous it is, the more I enjoy it. Hours earlier, they kind of do what they want to do. These hunters had set traps. With nearly two million feral hogs in Texas alone, Dale says you can't rely on just one method. They'll come in and hit this wire and knock it off like that, and it shuts them in. These traps were strategically placed for frustrated property owners. They're tearing up our property. And like Gordon Reese, Bob Blackwell say the hogs had been. I came out one morning, and it looked like somebody had been out there with a backhoe and just, I mean, just destroyed it. That was over an acre, probably, it just, just tore up land. And so as the trap set out overnight, the hunt continued. At this point, GPS is needed to keep up with the dogs. We've been out of here now walking for nearly four hours and still no hogs. So despite there being nearly two million here in the state, we're finding out that it's not that easy to catch them. On this night, the hunt proved unsuccessful. And as it turned into day, these hog hunters were hoping the traps had better luck. Definitely not a pig out here. But after finding the first few empty, on Reese's property, a large angry sow had been caught. Over at Blackwell's ranch, four smaller hogs put up a fight. That's a biter, Mike. Not a bit, Randy. But each were pulled out. I got it. And tied up. Man, cause these four hogs, they'd be 30 you know, in a couple of years. So, but that's the main purpose of what we do <clears throat> right there, you know. Get these off his land. He's happy, we're happy. These hogs will be sold for meat or to train additional dogs, but five captured is hardly even a dent in the problem. Experts say with the rate of reproduction, more than a million wild hogs must be eliminated from Texas every year simply to keep the population flat. An impossible task for these hunters alone, but they say they'll do what they can, day or night, by any means possible. Oh, every time we have a pig in the trap, it's, you know, it's to me, I, I've won that battle. For that one night, that one time, I might not have caught them all, but I won a battle. With photographer Jason Gonzalez, Brian New, Kins 5, Eyewitness yeah. News. He's been in the business for 38 years. He flies out of Memorial Airfield in Chandler next to the Gila River Indian Reservation. Just that's uh, the Gila River Reservation is just outside of my district now. His company currently operates two AC-130s and one Douglas DC-7. His planes went through rigorous FAA testing.